Welcome to my Wednesday ramblings. This weekend is the fifth week of the message series, Where is God? It's a challenging series that has been helped by having uh, some interesting people who have been able to show us, point us in the direction of how to find answers in some of the ordinary things of life and some of the experiences of life. We have the story of Elijah on the mountaintop finding the presence of God in the still gentle breeze. We had the Canaanite woman who was prepared to find God in Jesus as he tried to turn her aside, but in her faith was able to remind, I suppose in one sense, remind Jesus of what his mission was, not just to the Jews, but to all the world. And then we've had the story over the last two weekends of Peter, as Peter's, Peter struggles with this question of, you know, who is the Christ, who is the Son of God, and being able to say, firstly, that you are the Christ, the Son of the living God, but then just a little time later, saying that we can't let you become the suffering Messiah. So the journey that we come to this weekend is a little bit more challenging because it's reminding us that to behave as a Christ follower means to accept that sometimes we're going to have to be much more forgiving, much more open to other people that we might initially like, especially when we struggle with those people and when we uh, we have difficulties trying to just accept what they're doing and how they're behaving. The gospel is very challenging when it invites us to think about what we do and how we live. And I suspect in our world today, that's very really a, a, a very challenging question. This isn't meant to be a statement about the referendum, the voice rec referendum. Um, but I wonder sometimes whether how we deal with issues where there are significant questions over which we don't know a lot of the answers. How does how do we make decisions? Um, do we do it by gut? Do we do it by logic? Do we do it by I'm not sure, therefore I will vote this way or that. It's a little bit challenging to listen to the words of the gospel this weekend, where we're being invited to perhaps call people out if they have made the wrong choice or if they're promoting the, a different point of view to what might be the, the view of the Christian. And then the question becomes, which side of the story is the right side of the story. So making decisions and being on the right side is sometimes understood looking backwards. I'd like to hope that as we head into this weekend and as we look for the next month or so with the preparations for the referendum, that we might have the ears to hear what is the call of the gospel. I don't know how to answer that question at this time, but I wonder whether we need to be able to read this weekend's gospel and to be able to be open to the challenges that might be placed before us, where we might have to listen to voices that we're not comfortable with, that are challenging us to think about how we live and how we behave. That's not how my homily is going to work out this weekend, but as I've been reflecting on the scriptures, that very is a very real challenge that I'm trying to address for myself. And I hope that as a community, we will be open to listen and to be informed and not simply just work because somebody else has made a statement. We all have the right to a voice and we all have the right to know that we choose to exercise our voice in the best way possible. I'd like to hope that we take the chance and the opportunity to make those decisions. Have a great week. Look forward to seeing you next week on my Wednesday ramblings.